Howdy folks, can everybody hear me? Can't hear me, raise your hands. Um, let's see, I might as well go ahead and get started. Oz is out this week. Um, so uh, Grumpy and I will be covering. Um, don't have a ton of new news on viewers. Uh, we had the tools update viewer, which uh, unfortunately we had to pull after a short period of time um, was causing problems in production that we hadn't really seen during testing. Uh, we think we have fixes for those issues now. So there should be uh, an even more updated tools update coming out. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to promote that early next week. Um, so if that all goes as planned, that'll be coming out as the next, uh, as the next default viewer. Um, and then after that, probably mate, we've had uh, uh, a lot of bug fixes uh, waiting patiently in the queue for quite a while at this point that we'd like to go ahead and get out. So uh, hopefully the, the after we uh, be able to get uh, mate out. Uh, let's see, what else is going on? We're still working on um, a few of the graphics issues that are going into the uh, Love Me Render release. Um, looked like we had one of the graphics folks here. Uh, Ptolemy, do you want to give us a rundown on how that's going? Yeah, we, there's been a few bugs that been really hard to track down, so we're just continuing to work on that and plug away at that. What's the what's the prospect? Think we're getting close at this point? Uh, <laughs> I talked to last week and the week before, so it's kind of hard to say at this point. <laughs> right? Have we had have we had more things coming in, or it's just uh, difficulties of fixing the stuff we already had? Yeah, I think no, I haven't seen anything coming in. Uh, I'm still touch base with Dan, but I think we've been good in that part, though. So just yeah. been trying to weld down the last few remaining ones that have been a little, been a little stubborn. We've we've only got uh, four open issues and two that are in progress. Um, of the open ones, none of them are really graphics fixes. There's a couple performance issues which are a little too squishy to say when they're exactly fixed. Um, you know, we're working on perf performance optimizations, but of the remaining open ones, they aren't. Uh, we'll have to triage them again, but I, I think we're very close to being done with them. Um, some of them will just continue to be open and, and can, in my opinion, continue to be open and, and we can go ahead and release. A uh, question in chat about uh, performance with water. I, I thought I'd seen something. Yeah, I'm currently looking Slack at that. We had some leads on that. Is that right? Yeah, there was once... Uh... Uh, lead, we're following up on that to see how that's turning out. Uh, Beck was able to give some insight on that one. No, uh, no, uh, nothing to report just yet. So we we had some leads on that, but we don't have a, a definite fix yet. Not yet. No, I'm trying a couple different things out. So yeah. okay. still looking at that one. Okay. Well, thanks, guys. Rapid, anything else uh, you'd like to talk about this week? Uh, no, just really hoping for tools update to go out soon. Oh, and uh, there's going to be a maintenance viewer going to RC uh, really soon. It's been approved. I don't know if we want to put it out on a Friday yet, though. Yeah, I I, I think we may be waiting on the um, on the the deploy if we get the tools update viewer out first. Yeah. So. Uh, possibly, possibly a new maintenance viewer Monday. But if we're actually going to ship tools update on Monday, then uh, we'll get that merged up first. Yep. Yep. Uh, sorry, no, it was uh, the next build of our rock. 
uh, with some updates to it. Although we also have the next maintenance viewer, it's just not ready yet. Yeah, we have actually several mate viewers in various stages of development at this point. Um, should have one ready to go into RC pretty quickly. One. I have no idea how to pronounce Iraq. I think that means we're open for questions. Volumetric clouds sound nice. Anybody have a contribution for this? I saw that uh, issue go by for the cloud formation library and got pretty excited until I figured out it was uh, something to do with the uh, cloud services. <laughs> oh, that's no fun. We need volumetric lights to go with the volumetric clouds. Yeah, yeah anyway, short answer. Yeah, those are, are things that would be cool, but we don't have any plans for them. I don't know. You think it's just one cute little shader, but then you get it home and it chews up all your CPU cycles. It makes a mess all over the disk drive, you know.
Oh, glad to hear that, Kitty. Um, back in uh, the days that predate me when EAP was brand new, there was some plans for doing some uh, some additional aerial perspective kind of things, and, and that one would have been easy, easier than volumetric clouds at least. Um, that's where you kind of fade out the uh, the colors on distant objects, and it gives a nice uh, perspective. That might be a simpler one to put in there. Yeah, at, related to atmospheric scattering. There are some other uh, scattering related effects too that didn't didn't make it that would be nice to bring back. Um, besides aerial perspective, you can do the god rays, but it's a little more compute intensive. Um, if, if you're asking about god rays, they are, it's more than a little shader magic. Oh, magic. There are a couple different ways to, to do them. Some rely on adding geometry, which I like guess fairly complex. Um, others are pretty simple, but they involve you know, ray casting and um, sampling your shadow map all along the view ray. And, that can turn into a lot of, depending on the scene, that can be a fairly expensive shader to run. I know we looked into God Ray's stages of, uh, of e development and decided to defer them to get things out more quickly, um, probably like two years ago or something. That is pretty. Uh, does it does it run quite fast on, say, seven year old Intel integrated GPUs? Yeah, it's the issue we run into constantly. Um, trying not to overpower the older hardware. Power the underpowered. Yeah.
What kinds of controls would you want for volumetric clouds if we had them? I mean, uh, like there are a lot of potential kinds of uh, context where they could be used. be able to control things like yeah probably probably add more params and eat wind light and control altitude and density and stuff like that maybe more of a content creator meeting topic i guess
All right. Well, anything else uh, folks want to talk about this week? Be a little slow on new news. Run off and do other things if we want. Anything new in Firestorm land? probably some kind of rule that for any given amount of hardware you have there's some outfit that will bring Yeah, scary business. Yeah, we should probably call it. Uh, so anyway, have a good weekend, everybody, and we will see you next time. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.